It's baseball time in Sheboygan. Good evening, baseball fans. I'm Jared Ertman here at Wildwood Baseball Park to bring you exciting Sheboygan A's baseball action. And it has been baseball time all weekend here in the Bratwurst capital of the world. There were four games yesterday and five today. And that is the part of the Wisconsin State League Challenge. It started Friday. The A's took on Oshkosh. Most recently in the Wisconsin State League Challenge, the Lombard Orioles bested the Braves of Addison in a 7-6 game. The Kings are actually traveling in from Howard's Grove where they played the Oshkosh Giants. Six two, the Kings down the Giants, and now they're here at Wildwood Park to take on the A's in the final game of the Wisconsin State League Challenge. So the results throughout the Wisconsin State League Challenge up to this final game. That Friday game, A's won 6-2 over Oshkosh. Lombard, an 11 a.m. game yesterday, won 7-6 in extra innings over the Kenosha Kings. And another extra in inning game involving the Kings. They bested the Braves 6-5. Braves then beat the Giants 7-2. And in the nightcap last night... The A's beat Lombard 6-5. to five. Lombard won the first game today 6-2 to two, over the Giants. And then the Addison Braves fell to the A's 4-3. to three. Then to the Orioles 7-6. to six. And the Kings beat the Giants 6-2. to two. Well, the Kings come in tonight, and they're a tough ball club. They're probably one of the top teams in the Wisconsin State League. And last season, they challenged the A's for the Langsdorf League title and would lose to the A's in the championship series. Both teams finish with a 15-5 record at the end of the regular season. A coin flip determined the home and away teams for this game. The A's did win the flip and will be the home team. Kenosha visiting. And for the games, there will be no national anthem played. It was played to begin the day and call that good for the remainder. So the A's have taken the field and we will shortly be underway. Weston Nelson will get the call to start on the mound for the A's. And behind him in the field, 
will be Dylan Dietert in left, Blake Fleischman at second, Harry Stelt at third, Wyatt Olson in right field, Nate Hiley at shortstop, Taylor Grimm behind the plate, Adam Ryan at first, Dan Barwick in center, and Carter Amundsen will be designated hitting for Nelson. And the lineup that Nelson will look to send down, J.T. Schneider will lead off for the Kings, followed by Tyler Eichmeyer and Kyle Jones. And they'll be playing short, third, and left, respectively. Jason Dennis, the pitcher, will be batting cleanup. A.J. Caprellian in right. Garrett Oguki will be behind the plate. Followed by Casey LaPointe and then Mike Swizzle in the center. J.T. Schneider steps in, and we are underway. Swing, and he sends this one in right. Olsen will catch it at his shoelaces for out one. Swing, and this one will go into left, and it will be caught just in fall territory by Dietert. Kyle Jones is the Kenosha batter. First pitch to him is a ball. Two away here in the top half of inning number one at Wildwood Park. And the next one will be up and away. Next one low and away. Three balls, no strikes. To Kyle Jones. Next one gets across. Nelson winds and delivers. That one also gets across to fill the count. Chopper, that goes foul past third. Awesome. Nelson sends in a curve that will be not foul. Kings come into tonight's game with a record 
of 6 in 10 in the Wisconsin State League. So a bit of a down year for them. They did lose some players. And now one will be lifted into the gap and left. And he'll go for two. It looks like he'll be in standing up. He is. So after a battle with Nelson, Jones wins it and is on second. And that will bring up Jason Dennis, who will also be getting the call to start the game on the mound for Kenosha. Swing, this one lifted into shallow left. Highly goes back for it, but he will bow to Dietert, who will make the catch. Kenosha Kings leave a man stranded. Do not put up a run. A's will be up in the bottom half. This is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by Superior Lawn and Garden Center. Bottom of the first, and Dylan Dieter will step in representing the first A's batter of the game. He will look at ball one. Again, Jason Dennis starting on the mound for Kenosha. And that one just goes foul. Hot one that bounced through the infield all the way to the wall. But just foul. We'll make it one ball and one strike to Dieter. Next one is low. And strike two called.
Dennis winds and delivers this one. A fly ball deep in the right. It'll bounce on the warning track. Dietert will round second, try to stretch it, and he will be in for a triple, a stand-up triple to lead off the game for the A's. So how about it? That was a nice shot. And Blake Fleischman will step in, playing second base in the field this game. Find his way back into the A's lineup after a hiatus. He'll swing at the first one, send him. It'll be right down the first base line. It'll be taken unassisted by Jason Bunton, but Dietert will score from third. Sacrifice RBI for Fleischman, and the A's take an early lead. Harry Stelt in the bat now. Take strike one. And swings and misses at the next one for 0-2. And the next one just misses. Stelt uses a judicious eye there. And the next one bounces in front of the opposite batter's box, and it'll be ball two. And ball three, will send Stelt ducking, fills the count. Next one will be grounded to third. The throw is errant, and it will be an E5. Stelt will get second automatically as it... Ball goes out of play on the overthrow. Wyatt Olsen up. Pass ball, so Stelt will take third. So Olsen awaits the 1-0. It is low for ball two. Two and one now. Dennis looks in, winds, and delivers. Chopper, and it will be grounded to short. The throw gets him, but he drives in a run. Here he stealth crosses the plate. 
And there are two runs on the board and two away here in the bottom of inning number one. And that one will be another error. Highly will be aboard. Who made the error? I didn't see. Air on the throw. Highly aboard first. And here is Taylor Grimm. Dennis out of the stretch now. And Grimm lifts one foul, and it looks like it'll go out of play. It does over the A's dugout. Highly takes off, and the pitch is a pass ball. He round second, but he'll stay there. I think you credit Highly with the stolen base there. He took off on the pitch. So runner in scoring position. And it's two balls and one strike to Taylor Grimm. Swing and a miss to even the count. Dennis working to limit the damage here. High fly ball. That one looks like it'll hang up there. It does. It is caught by Kenosha center fielder Mike Sizzle. And that is it for the A's. They put up two runs. At, and after one inning complete, that is their margin of lead. This is A's baseball brought to you by Miesfelds, makers of quality meats since 1941. Top the second and leading off for the Kenosha Kings will be A.J. Caprellian.
Ball one to Kapralian. And the next one will be fouled up and out of play. Swing, chopper, that will be had by Hiley. The throw is in time. One away, and here is Garrett Bonguki. Ball one, and now he tried the outside corner and missed there. Nelson winds and delivers. That one, a good pitch low in the zone for strike one. Swing and a miss. Two and two. And the next one will be looped out of play. Just past first base. Next one has to be blocked by Grimm. The count is full. Swing up to third, and here he's stealth. The throw is made for out number two. Jason Button up now. Curve ball in for strike one. That was a good one. And another breaking ball. That was out in a ground ball to second. Routine play. And Kenosha goes three up, three down. At the end of one and a half innings of play, the score remains Sheboygan two, Kenosha nothing. This is A's Baseball brought to you by Trilling True Value Hardware.
Adam Ryan will lead off for the A's. Here in the bottom of inning number two of this seven-inning game, the final game of the 2015 Wisconsin State League Challenge. Swing, and this one a high fly ball that will be caught by center fielder. That's Mike Sezzo. One pitch, one out. And center is center fielder Dan Barwick in. Stuck his bat out and got a chopper. It's charged on by Short, and the throw is made. Here is Carter Amundsen batting ninth in the A's order and designated hitting. Barwink taking his time going back to the dugout. And now time is in. Strike one called on Amundsen. Dennis winds in, delivers that one, comes in at eye level and inside to boot. One ball, one strike. Swing, this one to third. The throw is there, and in time, A's go down in order in the second. So after two innings complete, it is your Sheboygan A's two, Kenosha nothing. This is A's baseball brought to you by Phase Pizza. It's the third, and Casey LaPointe will be the leadoff man for Kenosha.
swing and a foul away makes for an 0-2 count. One and two, a breaking ball, and it just missed the corner. That was a good pitch. But it doesn't quite find the zone. So it's two and two. Swing, and this one will be caught by Fleischman. A little looper, and that's out number one. Your center fielder, Mike Sezzo. Grounder up the middle. Highly will have it. The throw will be not in time. Well, they say he pulled his foot off the base, says the field umpire. I'll score that one a hit. Highly had to hustle to get it, and the throw was reached the bag right about the time that Cezzo did. A runner aboard. Top the order for the Kings. J.T. Schneider up. Nelson takes a long look at the runner. The pitch is fouled away. We'll make it 0-2. Sezzo did take off, and will have to go back after the foul ball. Swing, high fly ball that lands in foul territory. Ball one, that one low. Wasted one on the 0-2. J.T. Schneider has a 2.13 average on the season. Throw over to first. Cezzo dives back. It is 10 hits in uh, 47 at bat. Cezzo takes off now, and ball is hit into right. It will be caught by Olsen, and they'll get Cezzo for the double play and get out of the inning. Cezzo kept going even when he saw the ball was hit in the air. He took off at the pitch and didn't get back in time. So the double play will send the A's up to bat in the bottom half. This is Sheboygan A's Baseball, brought to you by Culver's.
Dylan Dieter will lead off for the A's, representing the top of their order. And he will send a bouncer to short and will be thrown out. Blake Fleischman in now. And he will watch ball one go by. And the next one will be low. Swings at the next one, but he was kind of jammed there, and that one will go foul. Swings at the next one and sends that one foul as well. So how about it? It's two and two now. And Fleischman looking for that one to hit. That won't be it. That one up and away. Ball three to fill the count. Swing, and there's one to hit, and that one will get down. Bounce to the wall. Fleischman heading for two. He'll be in standing up as they throw it ahead towards third. Double for Fleischman, and Harry Stelt is the batter now. Broken bat, and it'll be a broken bat single. The uh, barrel of the bat almost went as far as the ball went up towards third. Mm, Fleischman picks up the barrel of the bat while still running the bases. It was kind of in his way. <laughs> so the ball went just over the outstretched glove of King's shortstop, J.T. Schneider. Went off the handle of... Stelt's bat. Well, the broken bat single will put runners on the corners. And that one will be a bouncer to third. They'll get Stelt, but will not get Olsen. He'll reach on the fielder's choice and have an RBI. Nate Hiley. Let's see. Dennis having maybe a little bit of trouble on the mound. Well, Guki starts to head out, maybe talk to him, but Dennis motions him back. Well, he's behind the plate. And he sets and delivers. The pitch is a strike, and it gets away from Boguki. 
Olsen will take second on the pass ball. Dennis sets and delivers. That one will be a ball. Couldn't get the curve across. It's two and one. Swing and a miss makes it two and two. Finally, flexing his left hand, and it looks like he may have re aggravated that injury. Woman's going to talk to him. And Ian Flynn, the A's trainer, out to look at it. Take this time to thank Aurora Sports Medicine, one of the sponsors of A's Baseball, who provides the trainers that keep the A's healthy and in the game. So Women's Flynn and Hiley break their conference. Hiley steps back in to await the 2-2 pitch. Takes a slow practice swing. You can tell it's hurting him, but. Dennis looks in, sets, delivers, swing, and a miss. Hiley strikes out. And the A's are out of the inning. They score one run, leave a man stranded. Three complete here at Wildwood Baseball Park. And it is the A's three, Kenosha zero. This is Sheboygan A's Baseball brought to you by Q-Mart. Tyler Eckmeyer, the leadoff batter in the fourth for the Kings. And due to the uh, re-aggravation of his thumb injury, Hiley 
will head to the bench. Ben Gordon will replace him. Gordon getting a lot of playing time over this Wisconsin State League challenge. He started trio of games, these earlier games in the State League challenge. Now going to play the bulk of this one, it looks like. Don't highly will re-enter. And now a grounder up pass first, and Eichmeyer will head for second. And then three, he'll be in standing up with a triple. Here's Kyle Jones, the left fielder. Oh, and one. This is the 10th and final game of the Wisconsin State League Challenge, and as such, it will be only played to seven innings. Swing and a miss by Jones makes it 0-2. Nelson sets and delivers that one high and away. And the Wisconsin State League is one of the premier semi-professional slash amateur baseball leagues in the Midwest. In operation since 1970, the Wisconsin State League is a highly competitive league which features many of the Midwest's top current and former collegiate athletes. And Jones will strike out out number one. And as well as collegiate athletes, there are many former professional baseball players in the state league. And you can keep up to date on everything happening in the Wisconsin State League by following the league online at WisconsinStateLeague.com, on Facebook, or on Twitter. Nelson steps off, gathers himself, and now looks in. Fall ball. Jammed him inside there. one that one looked like a hung curve luckily hung up at the well, letters won't swing at it well, Dennis having some words with plate umpire swing chopper to short Gordon has it but he won't offer a throw wouldn't have got him Wise decision to hold it. It will be an RBI single for Jason Dennis. AJ Kaperline in. Swing and a miss. He took a big cut there.
Oh, and to the count now. Nelson sets, delivers, and that one is fouled back. Shadows growing long here at Wildwood Baseball Park as we get on towards 7.30, which is the normal starting time for night games. This game began at 6.30. It was scheduled for 6. A little bit of delay, but overall things have run pretty well on time over the course of this Wisconsin State League Challenge that is hosted each year by the A's. And the State League Challenge was thought up a couple of years ago to give extra games to each of the state league teams. Now Dennis takes off after the pass ball and he will make it to second. Came right off the backstop too grim and he might have had him with a good throw but he decided to hold it. Breaking ball on the 2-2, got him swinging. And here is Bogucky. Another breaking ball. That one falls right in there. That one came high and tight. One ball and one strike. Throw down to second. He'll be back safely. Slides back. Pretty close play. Dennis is in. Swing, fly ball into right. Olsen is under it. And makes the catch for out number three. So they leave Dennis stranded. Kings do score on their first of the game. After three and a half, they cut the A's lead to two. This is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by Legend Larry's.
Taylor Grimm is the leadoff man for the A's here in the bottom of inning number four. Two balls, no strikes to Grimm. Swing that one, a fly ball. That will be right on the line and caught and left by Jones. One away, and Adam Ryan will be in. Ryan was recruited as a pitcher. But had a labrum injury. And worked himself back into shape. Plays first base for Marion and also has done that for the A's. Also started on the mound for the A's. Getting back in pitching shape. And that was versus the Orioles Friday night. Or rather just yesterday. Just yesterday night. And now a ground ball, and that will be in air. Was juggled out there by the Orioles' first baseman, Jason Button. Looked to be an easy one. Ryan wasn't even running full speed, but couldn't handle it, either to make the flip or take it unassisted. So do the air. Ryan will be aboard. And Dan Barwick in. Swing this one in to right and it will get down and a sliding attempt was made by right fielder A.J. Caprellian but he missed it and it bounced to the wall so it will start in an RBI and Barwick being on third. RBI triple for Dan Barwick. And Carter Amundsen up now. How about it? A's crease their lead by another run. Back up to three. Swing and a miss. Amundsen took a big cut there. Lights on now here at Wildwood Baseball Park. 725. Shadows are long. Most of the field in shadow. Except for right field. Strike two called on Amundsen. In about the st steadiest breeze we've had all weekend now blowing here at Wildwood Park. Per usual, it's a cross breeze. Sending the flag in the center. Out 
horizontally. Foul away, keeps it one ball and two strikes. Dennis working from the windup here with just a runner aboard third. And Amundsen checks his swing. It is two and two. That one an off-speed pitch that Amundsen will fall back and out of play. And in the windup and the delivery, a breaking ball that's out of the zone. The count is full now. And that one will get through up the middle and a collision between short and second as LaPointe and Schneider. It looks like Schneider is still down. Is that the point that is down? Can't quite see the number. The point up now, shaking it off, and Flynn Trainer <laughs> out to talk to him. And the point jogs a bit. Looks like he'll be okay. He takes his spot. That is an RBI single, though, for Carter Amundsen. And it's the top of the order, Dylan Dietert. One away, runner aboard first. Dietert steps in for the third time in the game. Led the game off with a triple. And he scored a run afterwards. Amundsen heads to second, trying to negate a double play on a hit and run. He does. They throw to first, but the throw will be dropped. And they're going to call that one an E3. You can tell by the reaction from Mike Meyer at third that he's none too happy so instead of getting one out, they get no outs. Runners aboard first and second. Hit and run was on. It negated the double play. Amundsen was practically on the bag by the time the ball was fielded. The throw would have been in time but was not handled. Amundsen takes off now, and he would have been out, but the throw was not handled by Eichmeier. Two runners in scoring position now, one away. Blake Fleischman is the batter. Swings and misses at that one, a little off balance there. 0-2 is the count. Swings and sends one foul.
0-2 pitch, swung on, and that one will fly out of play onto Wildwood Avenue. It remains 0-2. Next one is inside. Fleischman swings and misses at it. Drop strike three. What well, they'll make the throw. Two away then. And here is Harry Stelt. First pitch to Stelt inside. Dennis winds and delivers, working out of the windup here with runners on second and third. And he will hit Stelt and having some words with Stelt as he heads to first. Bases are loaded, and Wyatt Olson is the batter. Ball one to Olsen. Opportunity here for the A's. They're going to need some two-out hitting. Ball two. And a mound conference between Boguki and Dennis. This is Dennis's first start of the season on the mound. Now a ground ball, a close play. They'll get him. It was behind the bag, and he had to hustle forward. Ike Meyer able to get the force out as Dienert was charging forward. So the Kenosha Kings get out of it. But the A's score two more runs. They have a 5-1 to one lead after four complete. This is A's Baseball, brought to you by Miesfelds, makers of quality meats since 1941. Bottom third of the Kenosha order in the top of the fifth. Jason Button in. Oh, 
Nelson still on the mound for the A's. He's allowed one run on three hits thus far. Now the next one will be a strike. He has struck out one and not allowed any walks up to this point. And Nelson, unlike most of the A's players, has no college experience. His highest experience is with the Sheboygan Legion team. He is, though, looking to walk on either at UW-Stevens Point or Marion this next season. Well, Nelson getting valuable experience with the A's this season. And doing a good job here with the start. The count is full. Swing. Grounded to short. Gordon has it. The throw is there, and they get him. A nice play by Ben Gordon. He had to die for it, came up with it, made the throw. Strike one into Casey LaPointe. And then ball one. Nelson winds and delivers. Next one low and away. Next one will bounce on the plate. Grimm doesn't block it. No one on base, so no harm, no foul. Just a ball in the count. It's three balls to one strike. And that one will get across. Swing and a miss. He got him. So how about it? Two up, two down in the fifth for Kenosha. Here's Mike Sezzo. Breaking ball that was way, way up there. Over the head of Fezzo. He dodges out of the way. Swing this one, a fly ball into left center. It will be caught by Barwick. Three up, three down it is for Kenosha in the fifth. This is A's Baseball brought to you by Bank First National.
pitching change for the Kenosha Kings. Into the game will come Garrett Arnold, and he will be facing Ben Gordon. First pitch to Gordon is a strike. Next one, a ball. Misses outside. Swing and a foul away for one ball and two strikes. Next one way out there. It's two and two then. Swing and this one will get down in front of King's right fielder. That's Caprellian. A little single for Ben Gordon. Here is catcher Taylor Grimm. He got a good hold of that one, but it goes out of play and on to Wildwood Avenue. Makes for strike one. Grim 0 for 2 tonight. Throw to first. Gordon back standing up. <laughs> Gordon goes. Hit and run is on. Grim gets a good hold of that one, but it will be caught and left, and Gordon hustles back to first. Ryan is hit by a pitch. He'll get first base. Oh, where is it? Why is it so hard? ball both runners will advance Dan Barwick the batter Ball two. This is Garrett Arnold on the mound for the Kenosha Kings. Pitching change at the beginning of the inning. Yeah, started four games for the Kings. Appeared twice in relief for a little more than 19 innings pitched thus far in the season. An ERA of 8.38. Swing.
swing. This one an infield fly. Barwick slams his bat down. Two away. Carter Amundsen, the batter. Two outs, and again, the A's are going to need some two-out hitting to get their runs across. Two men in scoring position. Bases were loaded last inning when Wyatt Olson grounded out to end the inning. Two balls, no strikes. Next one does get across. Swing and a foul out of play. Evens the count at two apiece. Breaking ball. This one lifted into shallow center. Looks like it will be caught. It will. And the A's are out of the inning. They leave two men stranded. Failed to put up a run after five complete score remains. Sheboygan five. Kenosha one. This is A's Baseball brought to you by Larry's Distributing. So Nelson comes with a strike. It's 3 and 1 to JT Schneider. Lead-off batter in the top of the 6 for the Kings. And Nelson will send ball 4. 
And that is his first walk of the game. Here's Tyler Eckmeyer. The left-handed batting third baseman of the Kings. Field all in shadow here at Wildwood Park. Lights have been on since the third inning. Now they're really necessary. We would have a little bit of ball playing light left. A little bit of daylight left here. Swing and a foul out of play makes it one ball and one strike to Eichmeier. Swing, liner to short, and they'll get two. Ben Gordon catches the liner, sends it right back to first. Yeah, he's really good in the field. He just has no power at the plate. He does. We talked about that last night. He's a really good utility guy. So a double play. And Kyle Jones is the batter for the Kenosha Kings. And I'll have to dodge that one. Whistles past his ear. Swing and a fall out of play. It's two and two. That was the second time in the game, our last double play, that J.T. Schneider was doubled up after the batted ball was caught. In the third inning, Wyatt Olson got him out from right after catching one. The count is full now. Swing. Grounder. Ben Gordon will dive for it. He'll stop it, but he will not come up with it. Hal Jones will be on first with a base hit. Jason Dennis now. Well, Jason Dennis still batting. Designated hitting for himself as the pitcher and now for the relief pitcher. And he will fly out to Harry Stelt. So Kenosha leaves a man stranded. A's will be up in the bottom half looking to extend their lead. It's 5-1. to one. This is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by Papa Murphy's Pizza.
bottom of the sixth. And leading off for the A's is the left fielder, Dylan Dieter. We're at the top of the order, that means. And this is inning six of a seven inning game. So the A's maybe get a larger margin of lead here. Then they're just going to need three outs in the top half of the next one to take this game from the Kings. Grounder to third, booted. And that is the fifth error of the game for the Kenosha Kings. Blake Fleischman is the batter. He also having trouble with his hand. Fleischman having trouble with his right hand earlier in the season, so didn't get in too late and it's bothered him periodically so he hasn't been a regular in the A's lineup this season and his bat has been missed last season he was able to add power and hit for average and now he will send one through the right side for a single Harry Selt. Last season, yes, Fleischman with a 366 average, four home runs, 27 RBI. Certainly a big contributor. And now a pass ball will advance both runners. Two men in scoring position. A 1-0 count to Harry Stelt. That's a pass ball, and Dietert will hustle in. Doesn't even need to slide. Stays standing up and scores a run. So how about that one for a heads-up play? Well, the ball didn't go that far behind Kenosha catcher Boguki, but Dieter took the opportunity and hustled in. Makes it 6-1 to one in favor of the A's. Now a hopper to third, and they're going to go one to get Stelt. It will be an RBI, though, as Fleischman heads to the plate. Wyatt Olson now. Strike one, Olson. balls makes it two balls and one strike. Now this one lifted high in the right. It will be caught four out number two. Here's 
Ben Gordon. And he will send one in the center. It will be caught. And the A's are out of inning number six. They extend their lead at seven to one. And so the Kenosha Kings will be up in the bottom half needing six runs to keep the game going. Top of inning number seven. And A.J. Caprellian will be to the plate. He'll be followed by Garrett Boguki and Jason Button. And the Kenosha Kings will need six runs to keep the game going. The A's hold a 7-1 lead in this seven-inning game. Weston Nelson headed to the mound. Four inning number seven. He started the game. Fall tip for strike one on Caprellian. Nelson has allowed four hits thus far. Allowed one walk. And now another hit. That one up the middle. Garrett Bogucki. Swing and a foul into the backstop. <laughs> that makes for strike one. Nelson working from the stretch now. He sets and delivers. Swing and a sharp fall away towards the Aves dugout up along third base.
Swing, bouncer to the mound. Nelson looks to, but will go one for the sure out. So Kapralian will advance to second on the fielder's choice. Boguki will be thrown out. Here's Jason Button. And they will actually pinch hit for Bunton. Ball one. That is Travis Vanderwall pinch hitting. He has a 375 average, six hits in 16 at bats. One ball and one strike to Vanderwall. Nelson checks Caprellian a couple times and sends in ball two. Well, Nelson in with the 2 1. It is ball three. Strike to call. That one a good breaking ball. Nelson still using it here in the late innings. More sparingly, though. But it's he's used it to good effect throughout the game. He'll issue ball four, though. Vanderwall draws the walk. To the plate will be second baseman Casey LaPointe. Swings and falls the first one away. one Nelson will send one and the bat goes flying out of the hands of LaPointe into the fence in front of the A's dugout that is a strike and the point was left looking at his batting gloves wondering what happened there just lost control of the bat that one flew away well, Nelson waiting for him to step back in. The 0 2 swung on and missed. Down goes LaPointe. Mike 
Senzo will be the last chance for the Kings. Swing, this one will get down and left, be fielded and thrown in. The Prellian will hold up at third. So runners on the corners for J.T. Schneider. First pitch, low and away. Nelson working here for this last out. And a bouncer that will be charged by Harry Stelt. He has it, makes the throw, and that is the ball game. The Kenosha Kings go quietly, and the A's triumph 7-1. to one. And with that win, the A's sweep the Wisconsin State League Challenge, winning four games. So the A is winning 7-1. Time of the game will be one hour and 52 minutes. Box score will be Kenosha one run on six hits. They committed five errors. Your A is seven runs on seven hits, no errors committed. Going the distance and getting the victory for the A's will be Weston Nelson, the losing pitcher for Kenosha, Jason Dennis, four innings pitched. And when he came out, Kenosha was down five to one. With that victory, the A's improved their overall record on the season to 22 and 12 overall, and 15 and 7 in the Wisconsin State League. The Kings fall to 14 and 15 overall, 6 and 11 in the Wisconsin State League. Notable performances tonight. The kink you got to credit Nelson on the mound. Only allowing one run, did give up six hits, but showed tremendous control overall, walking only three batsmen and did not give up a walk until the sixth inning. Or rather, he only walked two batsmen, didn't give up one until the sixth inning. Showed amazing command of his curveball. It's a very good game overall. And of course, he got plenty of run support from the A's. Dylan Dietert went one for four. Led off the game with a triple and scored a couple of runs. Also stole a base. Blake Fleischman went one or two for four. With two runs scored and an RBI. Wyatt Olson 
had two RBIs. He went 0 for 4, though. One of those RBIs was on a sacrifice, the other on a fielder's choice. You got to give some credit to Ben Gordon as well. I just been impressed with his play over the course of this Wisconsin State League challenge. Is called upon to start some games. He's generally reserved. Went two for nine at the plate. Had a walk, a run scored, an RBI. Did strike out once and had some great play in the field as well. We saw that today. Had a double play. Made a nice diving grab as well. Just done a really good job, as have all the A's. Shifting lineup. Seen a lot of different lineups over the course of the past few games, both stretching back into the week and this weekend's Wisconsin State League Challenge. And it's all a wrap. A's win four games this weekend and are on quite a winning streak here in the latter half of the season. So this game, a 7-1 triumph over the Kenosha Kings. Will not have a game tomorrow. They will be off after this long weekend. Their next game will be Tuesday at Oshkosh. And then they'll have a game at Manitowoc. Wednesday will be home next Thursday against the Green Bay Storm. And then have a home doubleheader Saturday versus the Chicago Cloud. That will be strikeout cancer day here at Wildwood Baseball Park. So the A's with a winning streak. A four-game one, and they'll look to extend it Tuesday at Oshkosh. I'm Jared Ertman here at Wildwood Baseball Park. Thank you for listening. Have a good night, everyone.